The following contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. But this movie now ends with this giant flood. Gotham is is in disarray, uh, and the sequel is setting up perhaps something like a no man's land, which everybody seems to be speculating now is is Batman no man's land, which Andrew, to your point, would have, you know, the Joker here would have the Riddler there, and they could do that. They just have to somehow get a way to get them out of Arkham, but I'm sure that would be easy enough. You just have to have one corrupt cop, and from this movie, we get the sense that that uh, Gotham has many of those still around but not the one who keeps following Batman. Definitely not that one. Uh, but Scotty, what do you think they're setting up for a sequel? Is it No Man's Land or are they going to go a different route? I am not sure. Uh, I think even Robin, Robert Pattinson uh, said that he's a fan of the Court of Owls stuff. So I think if they're smart, the Court of Owls actually fits in really well uh, as a third party threat. So he'll have like his threats from the mob, which are all very aligned and we know their motivations. And then he'll also have this threat from court of owls. And uh, I think it could bolster him having to uh, recruit allies. And I know this is probably a ways, ways off, but Bloodhaven is also a reference to nightwing because when nightwing leaves Gotham, that's where he sets up shop. I don't know. I, I think eventually we'll get to a Robin and things like that. But I, I mean, I would even be cool with them seeing a Robin in the sequel. If I'm being honest. I think he needs uh, he needs someone to potentially lose, you know, to further that Batman arc. Uh, something about the ending, though. And we were talking about how audiences weren't really like reactive to it. When he cuts the high voltage, everybody's mom girlfriend sister they all gasped because catwoman's watching him in that moment so that to me was just like they have done the batman catwoman stuff beautifully like if the non-sweaty people like that aren't super nerds or whatever are all reacting like that they're gonna keep up with that uh batman catwoman stuff for sure yeah that was that that was they did a great job i think they're the batman catwoman uh, chemistry and storyline was stronger in this than Batman Returns, Rob. <laughs> I mean, I love Batman Returns, and their their their, their chemistry, Keaton and Pfeiffer's uh, chemistry, were was really fun. But uh, you know, you you only touch on it a little bit about Catwoman, but I completely agree. It, Kravitz is my my favorite live action Catwoman. Like as much as I love Julie Newmar, and you know Hathaway was all right, like she was okay, but Kravitz. They, they found a way to give her really good emotional core as well as giving her the growth in this possible um, Catwoman series to become Catwoman, right? We got hints of the Catwoman, the cat, cat burglary type of stuff. Um, she, she had her mask, but, you know, she, she needs a better mask. She, see, she, see, she saw Batman take bullets off that mask. She's like, oh, you know what? I need something similar maybe is what, what she might be thinking. And, uh, yeah, when it comes to the ending as well, like, you know, maybe they could continue on with this flood stuff, but, you know, at the same time, maybe they could give that its due because of the penguins show and, you know, Catwoman, Catwoman's probably not going to take place in, uh, in Gotham, but like the penguins show, uh, if that, th this, it is in fact a sequel to this movie, then, you know, they could play out a bunch of that, uh, you know, the flood stuff in that show and, you know, who knows? Maybe mm. Pattinson shows up for an episode or two or stuff like that. So, you know, they could find a way of servicing how how big this flood was, along with, you know, flashing forward, you know, a year or something like that for the next movie. And then, you know, at the same time, uh, uh, giving you something new at, uh, as well. So, yeah, they th that's the beauty about these shows is that they can find a way to do a different their own, different story for their own in, in the sequel, along with uh, paying uh, proper care to the uh, actions of the Batman with these shows that seem to be coming out. You bring up a great point about Catwoman's mask, Rob. Um, another thing that I think the sequels would have fun doing is if everybody is going to survive and move on and continue to be in the sequels, and I hope Catwoman's in it as well, uh, I hope everybody's outfits kind of keep getting closer. Like, if eventually we get Paul Dano wearing a green jacket and a hat, I'm going to be doing freaking laps around the theater. I'm going to be. <laughs> Did so you? Happy. He had that that mannequin thing in his office with the purple like bandana around it, and I was like, "Riddler, Riddler's yeah. here! He's getting ready!" 
his insanity is going to start. The, yeah. He's in the padded cell now, man. So oh, he's going to start losing. And, and and Andrew, you're going to love this. But if he hangs out with Joker enough, he might go down a path of I need to look like a psycho. Right? Joker it. would totally buy him a green jacket and be like, "Hey, check this out, man! Look what I got you!" Woo. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I actually love the way. Uh, I wasn't sure how I feel about the Riddler's look in this. Like, I I loved it. I loved all that. But like, I'm like, as the Riddler, am I going to love it in the movie? Right? And I did. And that's uh, mm. end of discussion. For me, you guys can have your own opinions, but uh, this movie raises a lot of questions about a sequel, how it's going to go, where it's going to go. We know that it's coming. The one thing that you guys brought up that I didn't even, for some reason, didn't even cross my mind is these HBO Max shows could definitely fill a void and expand on the story and be like, hey, remember in that story? We saw that. Let's move on. Um, so you can have, you know, Gotham could be deflooded or something could happen within that show. The Penguin arc is going to happen in that show. Maybe Penguin, unfortunately, isn't in the next movie because he gets his own show and it's all dealt with there. I hope that's not the case. The Gotham City PD is obviously happening its own show and then Arkham. So all those shows can come together to give us a sequel. 